Hello everybody, welcome back to more Dicey Dungeons. That's like I'm getting more musical with my my intros. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a full song by the end of this series. Implying there will be an end. This will be fine. Let's try it. Let's try this new challenge here. We beat it once before, but let's beat it with a little check mark. Beat it with an asterisk. Start two battle axes that have been upgraded. Any equipment you find will be upgraded and flicked to curse at the start of your turn. Ayo, let's go. So last time I when I beat this uh, before the update that came out with the little check marks, it was pretty easy. I think it, I think it was one of the easier challenges because uh, you know like here's the thing. Please be cursed. Boom. We still did eight damage on one turn, like right away. That that's a pretty good. Pretty good turn, and the, the fact of the matter is, you could get no curses, and you could have. I could have ended up doing 16 damage, which on one turn is re. Math is hard. Which on one turn is really a little, uh, a little high, you know? Which is fine. Like I, I yeah. and the difficulty of this challenge, in theory, like on paper, you. Guys, am I gonna eat my words? <laughs> like, am, am I gonna start this video saying, this is the easiest challenge I've ever had to deal with, and then I'm gonna die because I'm too stupid to do math? Wow. Okay, so this is hard. This is a hard challenge. I think we'll be fine anyways, because we, we have fury. We got another battle axe. Guys, we're fine, we're fine, right? We're fine. Doesn't really matter that we have another battle axe. It's not gonna not gonna do anything for us. Okay. Four or less, please. So welcome back to Dicey Dungeons. We're playing the warrior here. This will be fine. I've heard this challenge is very hard. That 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 was just a failure to do basic math. I forgot that he had. I didn't realize he had the shield on. So I was like, okay, math checks out. We're all good. All right. So this challenge is very hard. I heard that on the first level is going to be really rough. I think that's the first time I've died on level one, isn't it? Look at me throwing out my. Die again, just not not even checking. Holy mother of goodness! Got the hammer. Extra damage. I don't know. the The theory is gonna be: Do we want a lot of single slot items, or do we want to throw some big boys in there? So we're not gonna have a lot of oh, a lot of options for oh, rip. A lot of options for uh, for die anyways, and one of them's going to be cursed. So, I don't know. Or, or at least it probably will be. Statistically, if we're gonna get to the situation where we have like four or five die, like we're probably gonna pull, uh, pull the curse at some point. Otherwise, the odds are ever in our favor. Like, maybe too much in our favor. Maybe get a lottery ticket instead of playing more dicey dungeons at that point. This looks nice. And try to fish for a six or something. We got a six. Oh. He can't keep getting away with it. Oh, he can't keep getting away with it. This is a this is a lucky run all of a sudden. Give me a six. Let's fish for unnecessary. Okay. Doesn't really matter. We're gonna get him next turn. So we're all good. I really wish we could have got a six to try to freeze him out of getting a or shock him out of getting us. You know, any damage. We'll take it. We're all good. I gotta mention, like, the 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 change was made so that level one is really just is, is relatively inconsequential. And I gotta say, I'm digging it. Like, cause, and it's clever because it doesn't fully rip it out of the game either. The level one aspect is still there, but who is playing roguelikes for the first floor? Hopefully nobody. Oh, that was a mistake, but it didn't really matter. In fact, it maybe was good because look what we can do here now. Uh, Rita's a genius. But yeah, like it, it 
it doesn't completely strip that first floor, first level kind of experience away from the roguelike completely. It just makes it so... <laughs> it, it's relatively inconsequential, says the guy who died. Uh, but... <laughs> well, guys, I'm having a rough day. Give me a two. I don't know what I'm thinking here. I'm having a rough day. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. He's weak to shock, wasn't he? Should we go for the spike shield? Or the boomerang? I think it might be a good idea to have some defense. Fence. Especially because we can get it doubled. We can, if we roll a five, we can swing a, a 10 damage shield, which is kind of a banger. Ah. I'm seeing if we could maybe squeeze another die out of there. We could have got a one. We could re-roll that. It's all good. We get that that way. And you know what? Let's go. I'm not going to throw away six damage. Back to the point of, of the level one thing. It makes it so, like, one... I, I've said this before, I'll say it again. In, in, like, all of my roguelike series, I say it. My ideal run length is, like, about, like, 25 to 40 minutes. Like, and this game does that very well. And it, it lets you... And, and like, 95% of it is past that repetitive level one stage, which is, I oh, so into that. Like, take note, <laughs> all other roguelikes, from, from that idea. Are we gonna... Okay. We could have furied, but frankly, I think we can save it. I, uh, like... Okay, that's a lot of damage. Maybe we shouldn't have. But it's all good. We should maybe look into getting a heal of some sort. Maybe two two small healing items would maybe do us better than the shields. Roll two six. There's something to be said for that though too with with the reroll. Roll two ones. Roll two sixes. There's something to be said for that, guys. I think we're gonna do it. All right. Level up in five. I'm definitely regretting not like bursting down that scum when we coulda. But I, we're fine. We have the Fury right here. We can just make sure we do it here instead. I think I should get rid of Bump. Shock against somebody who has exclusively even or exclusively odd is not that big of a deal. Because they can just use their odd numbers to, you know, fish it out. Every time I use that one, it, it, it goes. It, it, it just gets me. Give me like a four. Okay. Nice clean 16 damage. Do this just because otherwise what? We're going to do it in the spike shield. We might as well get the shock because maybe the stars align. But see, they don't. Like It, it was really completely inconsequential. This uh, This stinks. This is, uh, this is, uh, this is bad. Oh, my God. I was really counting on that. <laughs> I mean, we can just do this. All right, we're definitely going to eat that apple now. <laughs> we're going to eat the apple now because this is, this is a bit stanky. Keymaster, I find to be usually not too bad if you can kill quickly. I think we can. I think we can. I'm not too worried. We, get, we keep getting away with it. We have a lot of dice to work with, and uh, it's okay. <laughs> that makes sense. And it's not even gonna end up doing that much. Ten damage, and we get one shield. It's you know, it's something. Like we're gonna take three damage every time. If we can get really, really lucky with a shock, we can try to prevent some damage. But like, I don't know about that. Can we get a bump. We got a bump. Can we get another bump? No. I keep pushing it. I keep pushing it. Can we get a lucky shock, please? 
Shock, shock the one or shock the five. I don't know that I've ever gotten a successful shock off on the Keymaster. <laughs> and I kind of like that. I like that there's these enemies that don't have... Guys, I have a bad feeling about that. Okay. Okay. I was kind of hoping that would... I think we'll be fine, though. All right, that's that's like the most ideal one we could have really gotten bopped there. We we should have thrown the six in there though. Now that I think about it, instead of the two, because we wouldn't have had any other thing to do with the six. And we're back at it again at the Krispy Kreme. What was that guy thinking in that video? If you if you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor. <laughs> most bizarre moments of any. I think it was a vine. That I've, that I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. I am digging claw pretty, pretty fierce. Something quite fierce. But you know what? Snowball Plus sounds pretty cute. Boomerang is, I don't get me wrong. I love Boomerang. Upgraded Snowball. What does it do? Does it, it normally is like this, but it just freezes one die, right? It's just so it freezes two. Let's swing it. We never roll like that. In fact, I am going to become that which I hate. We are going to go up and copy the snowball and then replace some of our things with the, the snowball. Like, and get ahead. We can be the snowman. That's okay. We could. Let's let's be nice and safe for later. Good deal. That's a that's 14 damage, a shock, and five shields. I mean, bring it on, sucker. Got ourselves some fury. All in. It actually did it. Okay. Easy money. got here. Repeat next attack. I mean, there's something to be said for that. Oops. Should I? Yeah, I should probably have the spike shield. And then bump plus snowball will work real well, but then I'll have to get rid of something else. Spike shield doesn't, the upgrade doesn't make it smaller anymore. Uh, you know, I love the hammer. Don't get me wrong. But I want to try something out. I just want, I want to be the Yeti. I want to see what it's like to, to feel that, that strong. Oh my god, the Rat King. Perfect enemy. Perfect enemy to get. Please. That's fine. Freeze to die. Like, there's nothing. <laughs> he can't do nothing. He literally can't do anything. Sure. I, I have a feeling we don't really need to do... <laughs> we don't need to do anything against this guy. I think we're all good. Just throwing some snowballs. Sure. Four. Give me four. No, or a five. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Just, this is like that the meme with the lady and the and the geometry. Oh boy. Easy man. Easy rat. All right. I really do like the rat enemy. I, I thought he was way too overtuned the first time I fought him, but now seeing how how much he gets wrecked by the freeze is it's pretty satisfying. She's got cauldron, but 
The freeze is still gonna be the freeze is still gonna be good. Get dice value up. Throw that there. Oh, nasty. So now it's it's like a 50 50. A no. What is it called? What is it? Magic missile? Electric shock. No electric shock for you. At least I can rely on my curse, like, not going, not going my way. I don't know. I didn't need to really, didn't really need to re-roll that. Or bump it. <laughs> We're gonna level up after this fight, so I mean, I guess let's get that four health in case things go real south. Real fast. Oh my god. Kind of fishing for that curse. Okay. I mean, two freeze. I was hoping to get four freeze because he doesn't really have anything to do with his ones. This is another one that's really, really messed up by, uh, by freezing. Saw it coming from a mile away. I'd rather have them all be frozen and just slowly take him away. We need to be a little bit more patient. See, look at that. He doesn't have any even numbers at all. He's got to put everything in camouflage. Didn't mean to do that. But now we know that everything is going to work. Hey. So it seems like Freeze almost prioritizes the dice. The dice that aren't ones. Is that... Is that wrong? Yeah, it's not right coming. It doesn't really matter what we do at this point. We're all good. This build is, like, it's quite aggressive. But... Frost in against a lot of enemies is just inherently. <laughs> I mean, we could like, but then we're gonna run into somebody who can't be frozen. We're gonna get the Girl Scout final bobs. There's no good reason to get another snowball, and that's exactly why I'm doing it. That's not a bad idea. Add three poison if you roll a six. That's a good, that's a good item. But I would rather be the snowman. We got, we got three snowballs. We can make a whole snow body. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. Not right now. I shouldn't have gotten an extra snowball, like for real. Let's go towards Cornelius. Cornelius is a pushover if you got a slightly optimal build, and I think we have a more than slightly optimal build. Okay. Okay. Okay, there it is. There we go. Haunted Jar does poison. No reason to put up shields. So we honestly, we could have changed our build at this point. Freeze is really good against the Haunted Jar, too. Look at that. Like, yeah, we're going to get our butt... Uh, Oh, a little messed up with this. This can't possibly work. Okay. And it did. He's going to poison us, but he's not going to be able to get Blight in time for us, like, before we kill him. It is going a little slow. Do we want to double some? Doesn't matter. What am I doing? Ah! Doesn't matter. All right. Didn't take that much. Could have gone a lot worse. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> oh, look, another blueprint. We could have all snowballs. Or just five snowballs and a bump. Okay. 
no reason to uh oh boy wait we could just bump this one more time i'll just roll with that instead of wait okay good we did damage i thought we sh i thought we shielded oh we're we have freeze guys freeze is so strong i've been sleeping on it okay we there we go that's fishing for that Oh, we try really hard to get a five, but I, I'm just, it does, nothing matters. Nothing matters. We can't lose both of our snowballs. Okay. Oh, that's, that's right. He does get more die. We can't freeze him all. We can turn this into three. That, not, that's dumb. We should have combat rolled that. I'm, I'm not worried about this fight anyways, though. Like, he's just got, with the freeze, he just really has a tough mountain to climb. Uh... Keep me frozen. We'll go all in on damage this turn. It just didn't. Nothing really mattered yet. This song is a bop. Oh, easy. I think we need a new snowball. This is the, you know what? No reason not to get to full health because we're gonna heal. We're gonna fight everybody and then we're gonna go to the next floor. Like, stop. Give me a two or three. Oh, I made a mistake. Go, I made a mistake. We can still get something back by doing that, though. All good. Maybe we should have gone for shielding, but I just I feel like we'll be okay with the freeze. All right, so if we're going to go for freezes, we're going to keep getting weakened. That's for sure. Question is if that matters. Probably does. Oh. Okay, all ones. I mean, at least it's going to take a little bit. She's not going to even get crystallized out this turn. So it's just going to do be one damage in a weaken. I eat one damages and weakens for breakfast. There we go. <laughs> Get the crystallize out, but not even going to be able to use it. Frost is so strong like, in this scenario. All right. Kind of want to fish. The There we go. Excuse me. Wanted to fish the curse there. Again, might as well. It, it's it doesn't look optimal, but it is, you know. Okay. I'm gonna get a lot of locked die. Maybe not. Like, let's see. No, actually, this is fine. We can get a shield out right away. She's a very front-facing damage dealer. Yeah, just get the cardboard sword out. That's fine. 
She can only lock a max of two die, right? Yeah. They were fine. That hurts. I almost don't want a freezer. We're gonna take a nasty chunk of damage, but it's it's fine. Like this this is a relatively inconsequential fight. We we're gonna have to seriously blow it. That hurts. Ugh. Okay, 15. We're good. We're so fine. Fight me. Can we talk about that roll? How uh, perfect that was? Ah, you cheated, I'm telling on you. You're gonna be in so much trouble. At least I'm not dead. All right, we got our... Oh man, I was kind of hoping it was gonna be a snowball. She's, what? Oh, she's, um, uh, oh, <laughs> you know what? A bunch of snowballs are gonna be good against her, aren't they? I wish we had another bump. I should have done that. She, uh, she's the one who gets a bunch of shields based off of the die she puts in. All right, that's too many snowballs. I wish we had like a roll, the, we took the roll to ones. That would have been better. Weak to shock. I mean, yeah, we have shock stuff, don't we, that we could have... I'm not worried about it. All right. Have fun in ice hell. I mean, yeah, like, she... Add two to shield. She's always going to be able to do two damage. Better watch out. In 88 turns, I might have some issues. Fish in the cursed. I don't know, guys. I should watch out. I'm down to 40 health. She is just... She is surely salty. Any odd number. All right. Just the reason this works so well is the fact that we have combat roll. We are a freaking frost mage warrior. Any odd number. Any odd number will do. This might be the healthiest I've ever been after a boss fight. This might be the healthiest I have ever been after a boss fight. See now. All right. Smooth sailing. We did it. We got it marked off. Let's go back and see if this worked. Indeed it did. This will be fine. Bada bing, bada boom. I mean, awesome. Just got two more challenges on him. I mean, oof, the classic hard mode. We, we went right through him and now we gotta go through him again. Just when I thought I was done, I got pulled back in. May, you know, honestly, maybe by the time we get to them, the other hard mode will be in the game, even. Who knows? But we got a lot of work to do still. We got a lot of work to do. Not to mention, the game is 
so fun that the normal <laughs> normal runs we can do more than one <laughs> but anyways that is gonna do it for today check this game out guys if you are interested in it at all and you have never bought anything on itch.io before itch.io please consider letting this be the first time you do the website is not like people are afraid to use something that's not steam but it's not an extra it's it, you're not getting a new client or anything like it's just a website and you buy the game you get the executable file it's way more immediate and raw like with the updates the updates out it's out you get it you know so go consider checking uh, checking it out getting it on itch.io the link is in the description it's 750 us dollars on steam right now it is surely going to be cheaper than what it will be when it's officially released on steam and you do get a steam key for when the game does eventually come out on steam so it's an amazing time to get it. if you are if you know you're going to want the game get it like get it right now like please <laughs> hear my call if you if you are interested in the game now is the time to buy it because it is like you know it, it's a really fun game already in its current state it's so much more fun in its alpha state than a lot of a lot of games i've played from the last few years that are finished seriously so exciting that i uh, get to see the progress of this game and i hope you guys check it out for yourself as well because it is it's seriously it's a lot of fun to just experiment thank you for watching though subscribe for more at dicey dungeons thank you thank you see you next time